Have you ever seen hyenas in Africa? Have you ever heard their laughter? Hyenas, what exactly are they? At first glance, they look like big wild dogs, and at second glance too. In fact, have you ever seen a stray dog that looks exactly like that hyena? They must be distant cousins. But how distant? And are they really related? Are hyenas really related to dogs? Or do they have a different relative that we're not looking at closely? To determine if a hyena is really a dog, it might be helpful to focus on dogs themselves. We all know dogs well as pets, be they terriers or corgis. There are many breeds of dogs that are popular as pets. But besides dogs that are great pets, there is a wide variety of other animals that fall into the category of canids. For example, there are many types of foxes in the world. There are wolves, coyotes, dingoes and jackals. There is a long list of canids and they all share many similarities. One big similarity between them is that they are endurance hunters. Unlike the lion or tiger that chase their prey and attack at the right time, canids take a different approach, an approach that can take much longer. That's it. You were so busy wondering if a hyena was a dog or not that you didn't even consider if it was actually related to a cat. Of course, if you're thinking of a house cat, you're not going to see the similarities. But if you look at the big cats of the world like lions, tigers and jaguars, you still might not see the similarities. But there are many. One way to see the resemblance is in the hygiene aspect. If you've ever seen your cat cleaning itself, sometimes with one leg stretched up, Hyenas do the same. Furthermore, zoologists have noted that hyenas have the same scent marking and defecation habits as felines. Even the parenting behavior and mating styles are similar to those of felines. Well, we can't answer the question until we get to know hyenas a little better. They are fascinating and often misunderstood creatures. Yes, we scratch the surface, but there is so much more to discover. They have similarities to dogs and cats, but they also share behaviors with lions. But we need to know more about them as a whole to really understand them. There are four species of hyena, each with its own unique characteristics. No matter which one you're looking at, they all look like some kind of dog, but don't let appearances fool you. There is the aardwolf. No, it is not a wolf. And no, it is not an aardvark. It is a unique species in itself. But seeing the word wolf there, you tend to think it's a wolf. It is not. It is a hyena with its own characteristics. In addition to the aardwolf, there is the brown hyena, the striped hyena, and the spotted hyena, each adapted to its environment. The spotted hyena is also known as the laughing hyena, due to its characteristic sounds. This is the most famous species of hyena we know, often seen in documentaries. The spotted hyena tends to be the largest of them all, as it can weigh up to 65 kilos, an impressive weight. The striped hyena can weigh up to 55 kilos, the brown hyena is just under 45 kilos, and the aardwolf generally weighs less than 10 kilos. Almost the same weight as your neighbor's miniature pincher, right? So, does that make them a dog? Do we have a guess yet? Well, hyenas travel in packs, just like canids. Another interesting similarity, sometimes the pack has five to ten hyenas, sometimes it can have well over a hundred hyenas. People have seen packs of up to 130 individuals, which is really impressive. Strength in numbers, right? But it doesn't matter if it's one hyena or many hyenas, they are formidable. You don't want to get on their bad side, especially when they're hunting, because they have extremely powerful jaws, capable of crushing bones with ease. Hyenas are generally found in savannas and semi-arid regions, but have also been found at 4,000 meters altitude in mountainous areas, demonstrating their incredible adaptability. They are quite adaptable, and yes, they are predatory carnivores, hunting a variety of prey. However, they are opportunistic predators, 
as they are rarely the apex predator in their area, which forces them to be resourceful. Usually they have to compete with lions and leopards, so sometimes they find their own prey, but they also find carcasses left behind by other predators and make a meal out of it if they have to. They are masters at seizing opportunities. Spotted hyenas kill most of their own meals, showcasing their hunting prowess. Striped hyenas feed more on carrion and sometimes even supplement their diet with fruit, adapting to what is available. Since brown hyenas are even smaller, weighing less than 45 kilos, they get most of their food by scavenging, waiting for larger animals like lions, leopards, jackals or cheetahs to make the kill, and then they come in close to steal some food. They are true survivors. And aardwolves are primarily insectivores, as they lick up insects with a broad tongue, similar to an anteater, showing a very different diet from the other hyenas. Hyenas are often mistaken as being solely scavengers, but this is a misconception. While they are highly opportunistic and will readily feed on carrion, they are also skilled hunters in their own right. Their powerful jaws and teeth, capable of crushing bones, are formidable weapons in both hunting and scavenging. Their scavenging behavior is not a sign of weakness, but rather an adaptation that allows them to thrive in challenging environments. By utilizing all available food sources, they can survive periods of scarcity and competition. This adaptability is a testament to their evolutionary success. Furthermore, hyenas play a crucial role in their ecosystems as scavengers. They help control the spread of disease by consuming carcasses and preventing the buildup of rotting flesh. As we have seen, hyenas possess a fascinating mix of traits that make them unique and difficult to classify. Their resemblance to both canids and phyllids has sparked much debate among scientists and animal enthusiasts alike. However, their evolutionary history tells a different story. Their scavenging and hunting behaviors, while reminiscent of both canids and phyllids, are adaptations that evolved independently in response to their specific environmental pressures. Their social structures, communication methods, and reproductive strategies also exhibit unique characteristics that set them apart from other carnivores. Their ability to digest bones, a trait not shared by most canids or felids, further highlights their uniqueness. So, where do hyenas truly belong in the animal kingdom? The answer lies in their own exclusive family, the Hyenidae. This family consists of four extant species, the spotted hyena, the striped hyena, the brown hyena, and the aardwolf. The Hyenidae family is further classified within the suborder Feliformia, which also includes cats, mongooses, and civets. However, it is important to note that this classification does not imply a close relationship with felines. It merely reflects their shared ancestry within the Feliformia lineage. Hyenas diverged from other Feliforms early in their evolutionary history, developing their own unique traits and adaptations. Their resemblance to canids is an example of convergent evolution, where unrelated species develop similar traits due to similar environmental pressures. If you hear the word Hyaenidae, you'll notice that it sounds a lot like hyena, and for good reason. That's the family hyenas belong to. Not the canid family, not the felid family. Hyenas are not dogs. They are not related to wolves. They are not part of any of these other families. Hyenas are their own family, the Hyaenidae family. Yes, they share many similarities with dogs. And yes, they share many similarities with cats. They are mammals, they are carnivores, and while they are very similar to dogs and cats in many ways, all of that makes them different from dogs and cats in many ways. They are not exactly like either of these families. They have their own unique characteristics, so they don't fall into the same category as dogs. They are unique for sharing similarities with both dogs and cats, 
and for having their own special ways. Hyenas are fascinating for their ability to combine traits from both groups of animals. As we mentioned, the aardwolf is primarily an insectivore, using a wide tongue to lap up insects. This behavior is crucial for their survival in environments where insects are abundant. Brown and striped hyenas are known to play dead when a lion or other larger predator is about to attack. Yes, like a possum. This clever tactic often confuses predators, giving them a chance to escape. They feed on carrion as if they were a crow or a vulture. This scavenging behavior is essential for cleaning up the ecosystem. They crush bones like, well, like no other animal really does. Their powerful jaws allow them to access nutrients that other animals can't. Hyenas are almost a mixture of many other animals and bring a lot of originality to the table. They are truly unique in their behavior and characteristics. That's why they're in the Hyenidae family, because they're unique. This family is distinct and not to be confused with any other. They are their own family, because there are no other animals like them. Each species of hyena has its own quirks. Although their convergent evolution with canids has led to some shared characteristics, hyenas have found their own niche in the animal kingdom. They are a perfect example of how evolution can take different paths. Their ability to thrive in diverse habitats, from grasslands to mountains, is a testament to their adaptability and resilience. This versatility is one of the reasons why hyenas are so successful. So there you have it. Hyenas are not dogs. They are not cats either. They are hyenas and belong to their own unique family, the hyenidae. Although they share some similarities with canids and felids, these are the result of convergent evolution, where different species develop similar traits to adapt to similar environments or ecological niches. Hyenas have blazed their own trail in the animal kingdom, developing specialized adaptations and behaviors that set them apart. Their powerful jaws, bone-crushing bite force, efficient scavenging abilities, complex social structures, and unique vocalizations all contribute to their success as highly adaptable and resilient predators. Their story is a testament to the power of evolution in shaping life in extraordinary ways, resulting in a fascinating blend of traits that make them unique and intriguing.